Hello, and welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Ian Hargraves. July 19th is National Ice Cream Day, so in its honor, I've decided to render the classic flavors of chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry using sour spiritualize. But what if I wanted to add sprinkles, but keep the original flavors intact? Did you know Spiritualize has configurations just like SOLIDWORKS? Let's take a look. At the left-hand side of the toolbar, you can see a name of base configuration. This is set by default whenever you start a new SOLIDWORKS Visualize project. To add a configuration, click to the right of the name and hit the plus icon. This will create a copy of the base configuration. In this example, I will name it Sprinkles. Once the name is entered in Visualize, it will place you in a new configuration and any change you make in the viewport will only apply to that configuration. Now that I'm in the new configuration, I'll apply the Sprinkles appearance. Using the drop down menu, I can switch between the configurations. Notice the base configuration has the original appearance we started with. Now I'd like to create a version with just the chocolate sprinkles cone by itself. To do this, I will use the duplicate item option to create a new configuration. This can be found next to the configuration name with the two squares icon. The duplicate item will create a copy of the configuration you're currently in. However, it will only work on new configurations, not the base configuration. If you'd like a copy of the base configuration, use the new item option that we previously used. In this example, I will name it chocolate. Now that I've created the third configuration, I will go ahead and hide the strawberry and vanilla ice cream cones. Configurations are not only limited to appearances, but also you can change the background. Now that I have all three configurations, I'm set to render. Another advantage of using configurations in Visualize is that all configurations can be rendered at once. All we have to do is change the output mode from render to all configurations. Once we have our settings correct, we can begin the render. SOLIDWORKS will start with the base configuration and work its way down the drop down menu. As you can see, it is on the second configuration and now the third. Once the render is complete, if we click on the file location, we can see all three renders were created, each configuration named separately. The base configuration is renamed to no configuration. Thanks for watching this tech tip. Be sure to check out our channel for more content.